All right, we're here working on a Atwood furnace and a Sunline camper. I'm um, having problems with it getting start and ignition. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I already took it apart previously. I know it's the igniter. The first thing we got to do is take these two screws. We got to loosen them up, pop that panel down. Okay, now we dropped our outside panel we can go ahead and take the inside cover down and this one's broken so as soon as I take this off it's just gonna come off completely but the bottom clip is broken so this one is a hydro flame model 8522 so what we've got to take out there's that screw there, and there's a screw back there, there's a screw up there, and a screw down there. And then this whole assembly pulls out as one piece. Oh, we also got to take this wing nut off too. So we're going to go ahead and do that and pull the unit out. Alright, so this is the exhaust port. And once you get your wing nut off, up there, you just jiggle this a bit and then it'll come out. Now, a thing to check for is if there's any insect nests in there or anything that'll also cause problems with ignition and burning. This one's clean. So, we're gonna have to put that down and then you can see in there. And we also have to loosen this that your guess in line right there so let's go ahead and take the rest of the bolts out and get the assembly out all right now we got everything loose got the gas line off just got to work on pulling it out i will tell you it's easier to note the position of your connectors up here Take this off. And this connector just goes right on the bottom of the igniter. I know it's hard to see. Right down here, my, my move my finger. Pull that off. And then it kind of all comes out as a unit. So the red and the orange your igniter wires and these the red and the yellow or for your gas shut off coil valves yeah, so this is what we're looking at this is the igniter as you can see the uh, tips are kind of worn I just put a new burner in it while we were camping I had my spare one there was a big hole in the other one they, they're a wearable item and that's literally just two bolts to replace two screws that one there and that one there and this whole unit comes out as one now this is discontinued the old style one the shield is cut off about here halfway this one has a full shield on it um, you can use this on the old style 8520s and it, it works fine um, I don't know why they say it doesn't work. It's the same exact burner. The only thing is the, the length of the shield. So I'll give the part number to that. And uh, yeah, let's work on getting this igniter out. All right, so we got our two screws out. One there, one right underneath down there. And you can finesse this out by rotating it sideways and pulling it through. Oh, I do have a new gasket, so I'm gonna scrape this off. Um, so, this old style is discontinued. I was able to find one on eBay that I purchased, which is this one here. And it's a service kit. Uh, manufacturer number 33625. That is the kit if you want the kit. 
but they're hard to find. I found the updated style for the newer ones on Amazon. Same mounting. Uh, the only difference is the electrodes are bent down. I'm going to see if I can get it to work in place of the discontinued one because I know you can still get these. So that's what we're going to see now. We're going to see how it fits in there, see how close it is to the burner, etc. Alright, so looking at it at first glance, if we just push it in place, it looks like it's going to clear. I did have to bend the bottom tang for the uh, terminal to the left so it would clear. The old style, they're, they're bolted on. These are soldered on. So I got the gasket scraped off, got the new gasket in. We're going to put this in, bolt it in place, and run through the ignition cycle and see what happens. Hey, with it bolted all the way up, they were really close. Um, but this is only 10. 10 mounts. I wonder, just grab it, pull it back a little bit. That gives us some clearance. Enough of an air gap. I'm going to try it. See what happens. So we just bend it back a little bit. I think, I think it's going to work. I'm going to hook it back up run it through the ignition cycle and see what happens yeah all right turn it on I shut it off. I right, tried again. All right, shut it down. All right, so our, we got a nice spark. We're gonna go ahead, had to bend the other connector a little bit as well to get them to clear so they're not hitting the frame. Got them both on. Slide this in. Put our wires back on here. ahead and fire this thing up. Oh yeah, gonna put the gas line back on too. 
All right, so we are good. Got it all back together. The gas line on, we're gonna hook the propane up and uh, see what happens. Let's see what happens. Alright, right up once we blow the lines. Shut it down. And restart it, see what happens. Do this a couple times. Supposed to be 34 degrees camping this weekend at night, so I kind of want to make sure we're good. All right, this is gonna be test fire number two. Hope the camera can pick it up. Shut it down again and we'll go for a third time. Alright, this will be fire number three. 